yard. Did you see what it was? Was it a person or an animal or? A good sized man or something that looks like a man. Okay. You've had problems in the neighborhood before? Yeah, my dog was killed here just recently. I don't know what it was. Welcome to Sasquatch Hypothesis. Jesus Christ, you better. Sure. See ya. Hello. Get somebody out here. What's going on now, sir? That son of a bitch is about six foot nine. Do you see him now, sir? Yes, I'm looking right at him. Uh-oh. Is he in your yard, sir? Yeah, he's gone. He's big. Okay, what's he doing in your yard? He's looking at me. And the guy is on foot. I don't know. what. It, 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 it's a big, real big person. But it is a, it is a person. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it was a person or somebody really big. Hello, folks. I, uh, I'm making this video for my GoFundMe, which I have uh, just created about a half an hour ago. And uh, so I just want to very briefly tell you what the deal is. I'm, I'm looking at about $200,000 to create an expedition vehicle in order to go out to hot spots where Bigfoot Sasquatch has been sighted um, and spend a week or two I mean, think about the, the the TV show Finding Bigfoot, only I'm going to spend a week or two, or sometimes maybe even more out there, just depends on how productive it is. And uh, I plan to video it, put it up on my YouTube channel, and uh, you know, for those people who are, are uh, making donations, they'll be um, I can put together um, DVD sets and that kind of thing. You know, that that is to to be determined down the road exactly how I'm going to do these levels and um, what everyone will get as in uh, as appreciation for the uh, donations and that kind of thing. Um, I'm also planning on uh, the higher donating uh, donors uh, can come out in the field with me and spend, you know, week, two weeks, whatever out there. Just depends on how many people I have to schedule to be out there. And uh, the the basic idea is that two hundred thousand dollars will pay to create a um, a vehicle capable of going out into the the woods, out up in the logging roads, out in the fields. You know, there's going to be all different kind of terrain. Obviously, some places you know, I'm looking at doing a thirty six foot uh, Jaco Seneca kind of thing. It's on a Freightliner chassis. Um, some places it's not going to be able to go unless there's some kind of road or field or something, but then there are going to be other places where I'll be able to drive it out into the, uh, um, farther out into the, the woods or whatever. Just depends on how thick the woods are, that kind of thing. But <coughs> that's what the money's going to be for is to, to buy the coach, outfit the coach. I don't plan on buying a new coach because they depreciate 30% as soon as you drive them off the lot. I can probably buy one that's a year old for half of what it would cost to buy a new one. So I'm going to find a nice used one, uh, outfit it with uh, thermal and uh, maybe some parabolic, well, definitely some parabolic listening devices on um, a security system in case I happen to get attacked like... Um, the, the hunters in the cabin that'll run the Bigfoots off. Um, but like I've said on my uh, YouTube channel, I have some ideas about how to find them in addition to just looking in the hot spots. Well, actually, I'll probably go to hot spots that have these certain criteria um, to try and increase the chances of finding some evidence. Um, the idea is going to be to collect some definitive evidence in as scientific a manner as possible and document the entire process with video um, so that, you know, to increase the chances of science accepting the, uh, the evidence that I collect. And uh, so I'm looking at getting a, a something on a Freightliner chassis about a 36-foot Seneca or a Dynamax uh, Force HD, something like that. I'd like to get something with a garage, a toy hauler, but then there's some length issues there. So it would depend on what I run across if it's, you know, because I, I got to think about wheelbase and the, the potential of it flipping over on, in bad terrain and that kind of thing. But if I can find something that'll work, um, then I would rather go with a toy hauler because that gives me a place to put all the gear 
uh, maybe uh, an ATV if I can get one, that kind of thing. So uh, right now I don't have many subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is basically where all of this, the uh, the word of the funding is going to be spread. I, you can't have a Facebook page for um, the Sasquatch thing. I know you're going to tell me how it can be done and all this, but I've looked at all of that and the, that's just not a viable option for the Sasquatch hypothesis. So this is going to be the way it's ha have to be through Twitter and uh, Instagram and uh, Google Plus uh, and YouTube. So if y'all, I mean, whether y'all donate or not, if you could share, uh, spread the word so that maybe I could get some uh, more people involved, that would be great. I'm going to make different levels, t-shirts, hats, that kind of thing, which will be determined down the road. Um, and then obviously the people who can come out there and participate. Um, and there's going to be, I think I already said this, this is my second take, so I can't remember what I said in this video in the last one. Um, obviously there's going to be some, uh, DVDs and of the, the entire process and all that stuff. Um, so I think I've covered everything. The, the objective is to, to, uh, find Bigfoot and, uh, try to get enough evidence of Bigfoot to get it, at least get some scientists other than Meldrum interested. Um, not that Meldrum's a bad guy, but you know, he, he's not succeeded in um, getting Bigfoot recognized by science either. So, you know, try to increase the uh, scientific community's interest in this in this thing, I guess, or just prove it exists. Um, if I can hook up with some kind of veter veterinarian and uh, who can hook me up with some uh, tranquilizers or something, if I happen to run into one and I have that toy hauler, I'll knock him out, put him in the back of the, the, <laughs> the toy hauler, and bring him back to civilization, you know. Um, maybe... Uh, do like uh, Rick Dyer and actually go to a, 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 a mall or something and let people see you, uh, the living, breathing Bigfoot instead of a, um, a uh, taxidermy patch job. But uh, anyway, that's it. I hope you all can, if you, if you have some experience, I've never done a GoFundMe. I have no clue about it. I just created this one uh, maybe an hour ago now. And, uh, I'm still, I got to work out all the kinks and get everything set up right and all that stuff. So if y'all have some experience and you want to comment down below about, and that's, if you're seeing this on my YouTube channel, comment down below and let me know, you know, what some things I should do or, or whatever. I would appreciate that. And if you can spread the word, that's the big thing. Spread the word and get some other people looking at my GoFundMe page which is at gofundme.com slash sashype, S-A-S-H-Y-P. That'll take you right to the campaign page. And uh, I think that's about it. I'll make another more succinct video as I get all this stuff figured out. I just wanted to get that out there, get something out there on my YouTube um, page or YouTube uh, channel, as well as something to put up on the GoFundMe itself for now. But I'll do a better video in the future in the near future so anyway if you uh if you want to come on the show talk about the expeditions the uh finding of the bigfoot and all of that stuff the gofundme or any kind of sasquatch uh um experiences you've had and that kind of thing here's where you get a hold of me Sasquatch Hypotheses at gmail.com. And again, the GoFundMe page is gofundme.com slash sashype, S A S H Y P, just like the blog spot um, subdomain there. And uh, until next time, you'll take care.